What? Why? How? What if? These are the questions we ask ourselves when starting any coding project. Our trick is to break things down to smaller pieces and define the algorithm. So, the first question we ask, what is coding? Now, many of you might associate coding with only computers, and you're not wrong. But we want you to see the full picture. Coding is in everything. It's literally in the millions of things you do in life. You can find coding in things like sports. Driving a car. Going to the avenues. Reading a book. Eating breakfast. Eating lunch. Eating dinner. Einstein's Pretty much everything. I was going to say Einstein's theory of relativity. Okay. Anyways, so just to make things a bit more clear, coding is in what they all have in common. And that is giving a set of instruction to complete a certain task. My name is Abdurrahman Munafi. And I'm Yumna Tanan, and we will share our journey in coding. It all started in our first session when we asked our first question and got another question as an answer. We were kind of surprised by how things went, and they went well, to be honest. They gave us meaningful challenges to write less lines of code, encouraged us to come up with different algorithms for the same puzzle, and the projects. Oh, the projects. No exceptions, no excuses, and to be honest, even a coder this young, at six, eight, six years old, they have to do the projects too. Until one day, one of our coders, Mr. Save, challenged the tutors to code a drawing of him as a revenge of all of the hard projects we had to complete. And let's just say that now, coders who reach level four have a really harder project on their hands. Yeah, thank you, Save. So, to be honest, this also means something great. We have a voice that is always heard. Many classes or sessions were created based on our interests. Such as some projects we've done which are understanding Minecraft and the Rubik's Cube. We learned the importance of testing the code, debugging, and continually improving the algorithm. Such as in one project when we found seven versions to complete a 3 by 3 matrix using only division and subtraction. And most importantly, improve the user experience. So let's go back in time to the first day we came to Future Coders. We, were, we, we asked how much the fees were to join. And let's just say we were surprised by the answers. The magical moment where we felt responsible and important in our young age. They told us here in Future Coders, you don't have to pay any money. The currency is not money. It's time and knowledge that you put into each and every one of the projects you join. So for every class we join to learn, we volunteer, arrange our time to help out with another project. And that is where our journey as junior tutors started. As we said, we volunteered, arranged our time, and helped with as much projects as possible. And got the only one instruction. Never give an answer, ask them the question that can make the coder find the answer. In the way they want. In the time they need. That made us realize and respect how we think differently. So another thing we also learned, something very important here at Future Coders, it's all about perspective. Here is a challenge we posted on our Instagram. We asked people, what do you think this is? Let's just say we got a tremendous number of replies. And that proves what looks like something to you could look completely different to another person. Our coders come from 15 different countries, speaking four different languages, but have English in common. And this made all the sessions both interesting and yet challenging, to be honest. It also helped us grasp the concept better. In the words of Albert Einstein, if you can't explain it simply enough, you don't understand it well enough. So that leaves us with one last question. Are we all becoming programmers? Well, you never know. But we also know, knowing coding, a doctor will be a better doctor. And a teacher will be a better teacher. All of what we learned were outcomes of questions. And these simple questions were the wind currents, El Hubo, which took us up here to quit house. To stand in front of you and share our magical journey. So what's your question? Will it help you if we break it down? We guarantee you it will. You will find an answer. Thank you for your time.